Outdoors. Hope everyone is well. Today I am back in the Gold Butte area of Nevada and just over to my left here is Virgin Peak. Can't really see the peak with uh well maybe you can. Got a little bit of a snow capped peak in the background there. That's Virgin Peak. I've been eyeballing this peak for quite some time. Well, I figured today I'm gonna make a run at it. And uh, as I've mentioned in other Gold Butte videos, man, the road out here is just terrible. Every time I come out here, I swear, I think it just gets worse and worse. Maybe my shocks are bad, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna run down here to, uh, I think it's Whitney Pocket, and I'm gonna hook a left, and I'm gonna try and drive an old uh, four-wheel drive track as far up as I can. I intend to, I think, take the, uh, the South Ridge up to the peak there. You can kind of see it running right up there. Not really good, but um, that's my plan. We had a winter storm blow through here about three days ago. It dumped quite a bit of precipitation, so. I'm coming at it from the south side. I don't know how, how bad the snow will be, but coming down from the interstate, the north face of uh, Virgin Peak was covered in snow. So, uh, there's obviously gonna be less on the south side, but um, actually from here, it doesn't look too bad up there snow-wise, so I don't know. We'll see what happens and see how far I can get. I'm getting out here a little late, uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning, so we'll see. I think I, I'm looking at maybe 3,000 feet of elevation gain, I'm thinking. I think that peak's just a little over 8,000 feet. I could be wrong. Not 100% on all that, so <laughs> don't hold me to it. So I'm gonna continue down this road and I'm almost to uh, Whitney Pockets and let's hope I can get there without shredding a tire. <laughs> All right, that's Virgin Peak right in front of me and it's looking good. Uh, from this point, the south side, there's not much snow at all up there. So I wanna run that ridge line right there that southern ridge line up to the top. So I need to get as close to that as I can. I gotta find this dirt road. This might be it right here. I got a, uh, some signage coming up. All right, I'm at four wheel drive now. I'm gonna take this road far as I can because I want to just be able to easily get up on that ridge line there and uh, run it straight to the top. This does not look like it'll be too bad a hike from right here, but, <laughs> and I've said that before. washed out Jeez. I just tried to get down this and it didn't it didn't go well almost got high centered um, hmm all right just dumped a bunch of rocks in there oh maybe give that another shot all right, that didn't work. All I do is drop down into that thing and uh, it just starts spinning, so I gotta hoof it. That's probably a mile or two and I gotta get up on that ridge, so I gotta, I gotta get moving. Ooh, well, I'm on foot. I had to leave the truck back there. Couldn't get through that, uh, that washout. 
I'd drop in and the truck would just zzz, oh. I sure as hell don't want to get stuck out here. This may be a two-part video. <laughs> I got here a little late. I wasn't anticipating having to start this far back. There you have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk this for a ways. Actually, it's probably not as far as it looks. And then, uh, I just wanna get up on that ridge right there. So, we'll see. All right, so the dirt road continues off to the left here. I think I'm just gonna walk more to the east and go in this drainage looks like because I need to get over this area so I can hit my access up. It may be a bad decision, but Ooh, what if it'd just be easier to stick on that road when I'm going away from my destination. Well, I'll try this route and see where it leads me. All right, I'm in this drainage now. This may or may not take me where I want to go. Lots of cat's claw in the drainage. Well, I've already come up a little bit. <clears throat> Coming out of this drainage now, just get right up here and hope this will give me a, a view of <clears throat> my route. Humid, pouring sweat already. Oh. All right, well, I'm up on the rise here, and there's my peak right there. Well, looks like I can take this drainage back around to here and then walk up and over, and that should get me back over to uh, where I started from. Also, now I'm looking at this broad wash here. That's what I want. When I exit, I can come down this wash and walk it all the way out until it hits these cliffs back over here, and I can go up. And that'll put me right back where I almost came off that road, more or less. So it didn't cliff out too bad over here. I'm just gonna go straight across, follow this wash off to the left there. And that should be, uh, That should be the start of my ascent. All right, I've come around the corner here in this broad wash. Forgive me, I'm still getting over a cold. A little flimmy still. But uh, I need to go right up here and I think I can take this one and that'll be my start up. It's not this one. I don't believe it is. So, not too much farther before I uh, Begin my attempt up. It's right over there, actually. 
Okay. It's time to start the grind. I hope I uh, pick the right one to walk up. Here's the wash I walked up and that kind of slick rock sticking out down there just beyond that is that corral and the truck a mile past that so I've already come up a bit I'm licked already I've been at it for over an hour now I just need to get up to this top of this rise here and I'll get a better idea of where I'm at if I'm even in the right spot to uh, connect with that ridge line I hope I am <laughs> I got up all that and uh, it goes man got a little saddle here it goes right on up and that's my ridge line that'll run me all the way to the peak right on man that's awesome. I gotta tell you, that first part of the ascent from the truck all the way up this and up this, damn, it was it was a grinder. It whipped my butt. Whew, okay, that's my route down. Left a can there. I wanna make sure I see that when I come back. All right, so let's go get this peak. I haven't seen any cairns on this walk. I built one or two here and there, but uh, I don't think this peak gets climbed much. Gradual line up. See my peak right there. Yeah, it's so far away. I'm gonna be coming down in the dark. Oh. I don't know why this one's. This has been an absolute grind for me. Uh, I just did Cowboy Canyon a few days ago. I wonder if I'm still just getting over that. Oh, definitely gonna, as long as I can make it back to that ridge before dark, then I'm good to go. Man. I still got a ways to go. This is taking me forever. There it is, right there. That ah, seems like it's miles away still. Oh, mm. just dragging. I don't know why. Well, I keep at it. I said this a little second ago. Might as well plan on coming down in the dark. This would take me a little while to get up there.
Oh, not feeling well. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know what's going on with me, but I am not feeling good. Maybe altitude sickness. I don't know. I'm just dragging. Nauseous. Hmm. Running out of sunlight too. I may have to call this. We'll rest here for another minute. Take a few more steps. Not a way to get a look and then I'll see if I want to turn back or not. Ugh, hate it. Hmm. Well, I got pretty high up. Yeah, I don't know if I got altitude sickness or I'm just, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me, but I just don't feel good. I'm just dragging up this thing. It's already late in the afternoon. And you can see this is what I'm, I have to walk through. It's terrible. I think I'm going to have to call it. I'm going to have to turn back. Come back and try this another day. It's not the time. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, I've turned back. I'm heading down. Oh. All right, I'll come down a bit. Uh, I'm still way up here. I got a ways to go. It's so weird. It's like all I want to do is lay down and go to sleep. So tired. It's really bizarre. Got pretty nauseous. I don't know what's up. I, you know, I didn't think I got up that high to get altitude sickness, but I guess it doesn't matter. It can get you. Take a few more minutes, sit here, and then uh, get back up and head down. I don't know. I really exerted myself getting up. I haven't eaten much. And I walked for four straight hours straight up for the most part. Ah, I feel terrible. Wow, I just <laughs> I just felt really ill and right over here I just dropped my pack and laid down in the dirt for about 15 minutes. I feel better now. I didn't realize that when I laid down that this was actually my descent point, the spine I came up. So uh, I got back up and I uh, feel, feel okay now. Not quite as nauseous. Damn, I... I just, I don't think I had altitude sickness. Um, generally, when I feel altitude sickness coming on, I get a headache, really bad headache first. That's always been my experience when I feel, you know, up in altitude. And this is only 8,000 feet or so. And I never, I've, I've never gotten a headache. I just got really tired, really nauseous. And I think I overexerted myself coming up. I pretty much just, from all the way down there, just ran it all the way up to that point without a break and without drinking hardly any water and I think I uh, I think I blew it but um, might have been overreaching today anyway uh, getting a little bit of a later start I didn't realize how far uh, this was gonna gonna be to get up to that peak so I feel a little bit better after laying down and I've got about two hours of sunlight left so 
I think I'm okay for finishing this out, but uh, Jen called. I have cell service up here because I'm so high up. She's worried. <laughs> Don't blame her. I was got a text out, told her I had to turn back. I got sick. But um, yeah, she called me and kind of woke me up. Must have, must have dozed off. Wow, what a crazy experience. I honestly don't think it's altitude sickness. I think I just way overexerted myself. Uh, like I said, I just jammed it up here. I didn't eat anything. I didn't drink any water. And I think my body just said, screw it. We're done. I should know better. But uh, I'm feeling okay now. All right. I'm almost down into... Uh, broad wash I uh, actually feel pretty good I stopped drank some more water uh, I even ate a beef stick it was delicious and uh, nausea is totally gone no headache uh, absolutely bizarre I'm I definitely could have gotten altitude sickness I'm not uh, passing that off, but I did. I did charge the hell out of this thing, and I wasn't eating, I wasn't drinking water. And I mean, my body just shut down. But uh, that little siesta I had uh, definitely helped. I feel pretty good after that. So I'll have to return and try this again so folks stay safe out there take care of yourself <laughs> I wasn't a great example of that just now but uh, you know live and learn we'll see you for part two of this video thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe support for the channel is greatly appreciated He rocks out. Next time. That's right. That's Virgin Peak in the background. Back to attempt this for the second time. As you saw in the first part, I got pretty ill up there. And I originally thought uh, thought it was altitude sickness, but um, what I actually think happened was I got here late, and uh, I charged it. I mean, I charged it really hard, and I I wasn't drinking water. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wasn't eating anything. I was just trying to get as high as possible, as fast as possible and my blood sugar just crashed and i uh i think that's what stopped me and uh, i don't think it was altitude sickness at all that's only just a little over eight thousand feet virgin peak back there all right there so i'm really certain that it was just the blood sugar so today, I'm going to approach it a little differently. Uh, lots of water, lots of food. I got here earlier and slow and steady wins the race, man. Um, we had pretty good winter storm uh, last week and I gave it a few days out here because it warmed up after the weekend. So I wanted to see because I'm coming at it from the south. and. If you look at it from the north side, I mean, plastered, covered in snow. This doesn't look so bad. That last little section to get to the top may be, uh, may be kind of flavorful. But I brought, I brought full-on crampons. I bought another style of slip-on crampons. And uh, I think that'll get me up there. So if I have to get into it, we'll see. 
I'm not going to really record uh, much of the approach. I'll start once I get back up on the south ridge, which is that ridge line running up to the peak. Uh, I'm not going to do because I already did that in the first part of the video, so I'm not going to bother with that. Is today the day? We'll see. Attempt numero dos, Virgin Peak. Let's go get some. All right, I've made it to the top of the South Ridge. So from this point on, I'm gonna head north to uh, hopefully summit Persian Peak. That's my peak right over here. So it's taken me an hour and 45 minutes to get to this point. And I think I probably traveled about three and a half miles um, uh, from the start of the truck. And if you look, I'm not so sure if the camera can pick it up. It may way down there. So you can see some red rock right at the corner, at the bottom there. Way down there is where I started from. Now I think there's multiple routes. I think you can come up the western ridge here. It may be a little longer, and it may have a couple cliffs to negotiate. I'm not sure, but just from uh, from a little bit more research I've done, I'm taking the south ridge here. And this is going to be my route. And I followed the same route I came on the first attempt. However, by the time I made it to this point on the first attempt, I was sick. And uh, I stuck just below below the ridge here and kind of went off to the side and went this way because I didn't want to I didn't want to come up any farther. And that was a mistake. Uh, I learned that coming back. Anyway, I'm going to stay on the spine of the ridge and just walk it up and over. It seems to be the uh, the better path or the path of least resistance is from what I found. A lot less bushwhacking on the top here. And uh, I maybe got a mile down this way uh, before I got really sick and I, I couldn't, I could not take any more steps forward. I had to come back and I got back here to this point this is my point of descent down there i made cairns last time uh, i got to right over here and my body switched off done i had to curl up in the dirt and i fell asleep went to sleep body just cut off and i uh, you had phone service up here because you're so high up i'd gotten a couple texts out to jen saying i was sick and i was turning back and i'd come back a little bit walk back down and uh went to sleep and uh, she hadn't heard from me and luckily I had the phone in my pocket here and she called she got a call through vibration woke me up and because I I was literally it was just about dark I mean an hour to, I would have slept right into the darkness <laughs> so last trip was an interesting trip I feel great I feel good right now really good uh, I'm carrying a lot of weight up I don't think I have a technical section to deal with I may have ice and snow to deal with. I brought crampons. Um, I brought rope, harness, all that stuff in case I need to create an anchor to get down because it's pretty steep over there. I don't know what I'll come around into, so we'll see. But um, I'll start recording from this point on and uh, I'm gonna be a little sporadic until I get to that really, really, I mean, the true ascent part of uh, the peak there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was a grind coming up this three and a half miles or so. It was just the first two miles or so, two and a half miles maybe. Uh, it was a gradual uphill, and then this part here is just like a mile up. It is, it sucks. <laughs> I won't lie. But I put a cairn here and there, so uh, the route could be found again. It's not too difficult to discern. But um, I'm gonna stop for a second, get something to eat, drink, and then I'm gonna push on. So. Let's go get it, man. All right, I built a nice little cairn there. So if you come on my route, you'll know you're you're on it. Get to this spot. And from here, I'm going to start making my run towards the summit. 
Whew. All right, so that's the plan. I'm going to stay on top of the ridge and run the spine and see where it takes me. We're not there yet, but we're getting close. I guesstimate another two and a half miles to summit, maybe. It does look like one steep section to get through over there. Mm. Well, staying on the spine, the ridge, is definitely a better option than staying on the side of it. <clears throat> Little patches of snow here and there. Uh, I'll be in it. When I try and make summit, I don't know if I'm going to be post-holing how deep. That remains to be seen. Weather today, well, as you can see, kind of cloudy. Uh, winds were supposed to be 13. High today was going to be 58. That's down at the bottom, of course. So, nice day. One step at a time, right? <clears throat> so staying on the spine, on top of the ridge, is the way to go thus far. Uh, like I said, the first time I was... Uh... By the way, the trekking poles are definitely helping. Uh, I stayed on the edge below. I didn't want to come up. I was sick and I was trying to save whatever energy I had left for a summit push, but uh, I, I think I might have made it right over this next next uh, hill here, and I, I had to turn back. Uh, we should also add, it's late February. Uh, there's no way in hell I'd ever do this in the summertime. Uh, late spring, no way. Uh, late fall, winter, early spring, yeah. Starting at the very bottom, once again, ground was saturated from the weather, uh, humid, it was hot already, and uh, it's, just, it's just sweating buckets, man, getting up here. So you need to think about that, because there's no water to be had. Unless you get up here and you want to, uh, you got a kit with you and you can melt some snow for a brew, but uh, down there, forget about it. Whew, all right, well, pushing on. Too much snow on the side. I gotta get over on this ridge and get more to the west. It should be a little thinner over there. <sighs> We're getting there though. Man. It's just not that much farther. <sighs> I stayed over here, the wind's howling over on the western side, so once I get over there. I'll lose the snow, but I'll get the wind. I mean, you can't win, you know? <sighs> Snow's a little deeper. I mean, a little, a little shallower over here. As I came up over the western side, I got some dry spots. Getting there. We be grinding, man. Whew. It's 
you see the views, they're absolutely spectacular. <sighs> Post holding through the snow is whooping my ass. Won't lie. But I'm gonna come off to the left here and it looks like I'll be out of it for a second or at least out of some of it. I haven't really felt the need to put on crampons yet. <sighs> All right, I got a little spot clear snow. I gotta take a break for a second. Eat something, drink something. I'm getting my butt whipped up here. The wind's, the wind's killing me. This is a mean one. It is definitely an intense ride. That is for sure. I still got a ways to go, man. Might be coming down in the dark. I don't know. Might have to make summit. Definitely not going to stick around there too long. All right. Got some food in me, got some drink. Let's go get the summit. I'm gonna go ahead and put my helmet on because it's getting a little dicey and I still don't think I need crampons. Uh, if I feel I do, I'll just slip them on real quick. So um, I'm gonna go hands free at this point. Let's go get it. I have to say this part in the uh, in the trees, I'm not enjoying just the bush hogging. Although I will say this about the trees, they are blocking that wind somewhat. Oh, my hands just instantly went numb. Take a minute, put on a shell. The wind's just cutting right through me. Okay, okay. All right, let's go. I'm doing is going through these open spots and getting in front of trees get out of the wind the wind is just it's vicious oh, we're having fun now oh yeah I should have the crampons on now. It's time for crampons. All right, 
I feel much better. Now that I've got some spikes on my feet. Good Lord. I knew this was gonna be the summer. It just couldn't be that way. I got one more to go. It looks like a pretty shady ridge line too. I don't know. It's whipping my butt. I gotta make this happen because the day is getting short. Woo! Hey, yay, yay! All right. Just right there. Holy smokes. Okay. I am definitely happy. I have crampons on. Good night. I'd say that, uh, Extremely cautious. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Getting some views, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, wow. I mean, it is right there. I've been up to my waist in spots. I had to cut around and cut around. Pretty uh, sketchy uh, section right over there. Won't lie. I recorded coming back. It was um, uh, interesting to say the least. Well, crampons are doing an excellent job. I got about three and a half hours of sunlight left. Summit's right there. Oh my goodness. All right, folks, I'm dropping my pack. We'll be right there. Summit's right there. So this is gonna be a lot easier for me without 30 pounds on my back. Uh, it's probably gonna be a lot safer too. Yeah, that's better. My backpack doesn't roll off the cliff. <sighs> Shit, I hope I don't roll off the
good day. Summer. A virgin peak. Absolute grind. Summit achieved. <laughs> Virgin Peak, baby. Well, folks, there's no victory camp today. There's a register. Uh, everything's buried. So, no telling when the last person was to get up here, but there you have it. Summit. Woo! I ain't staying up here long, so booyah, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, folks, I can't, uh, I can't smell the roses up here, so I got a couple pictures. Let's do a little. You can see the Pine Valley Mountains out there. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Lake Mead. All right. Time to buckle up. I gotta go back down this. It is dangerous, man. All right. I got maybe three hours of sunlight left. That should give me plenty of time to get down to uh, safety. I'll be hitting the truck at dark probably, but. I might record sporadically here and there. It's on my way back. The face is numb. I got to go, but. Redemption after that first attempt. However, I am not down to safety yet, so I can't call it in the bag just yet. If I can get down to safety, then we are good. All right, man, I tell you what, this stretch from where the snow starts right down there to summit was an absolute and utter grind. And I know it's because of the snow, but I have to come back and do this when there's no snow just to see what it's like right here. Because there's a spot down here I gotta deal with that's, uh, well, it's scary. <laughs> Good news. My pack is still there. And at this point, I would really much just like to leave it there. <laughs> I've had enough of it. Oh. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna have something to drink and then get past the sage shady section. Just following my footsteps back. Thigh deep right here. Get 
past this here. Yeah, it's not too cool. What you're not seeing is off to my left. It's a nice cliff edge. And uh, I believe the drop off of it to be uh, pretty significant. So I'm gonna avoid that. <sighs> yeah, I'll be happy when I'm through this part. Yeah, this is another spot. Okay, well, I've reached a spot where I put on my crampons. So, uh, there's a couple steep spots. Still gotta remain vigilant, but that really creepy stuff's pretty much over. So, you can pick up the pace a little bit. Still gotta be careful. Still in deep snow. So, last thing I wanna do is bust a leg or something. But I'm running out of day and I need to be down there before it gets dark. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Finally, just about out of the forest and the snow. And I'm okay with that because I've had enough. Man, that was an absolute slog getting back through all that. Still, maybe get an hour of sunlight left. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I'm almost to my descent point back down to the wash at the bottom so once I hit that bottom I don't care if it's dark all right there's my big big cairn I made maybe you can't see it it's right there but uh, I'm at my final descent point and uh, well as you can see the Sun is almost gone so I had to stop and drink and eat something I'm absolutely exhausted uh, not much sun left I got miles to go <laughs> I'll have enough light to get down this and that's perfectly fine with me I'm already pushing eight hours now. 
of uh, it's maybe 20 minutes taken out of that it breaks so it's been virtually non-stop it's a serious walk folks I uh, <coughs> that's somewhere between 10 and 12 miles round trip from where I parked Whew. somewhere between I don't know that might be four or 4,500 feet of elevation now well, folks there goes the Sun All right, jeez, I am just soaked with sweat. Made it down, the serious stuff anyway. I still got all that down there to go through in the dark. So, hiking through the desert as night falls upon us. I'm just gonna keep close there, the ridge right there on my right. And it's gonna take me straight to the wash. I'll follow the wash out and that'll take me straight to the road. So nothing too complicated. It's an easy walk at this point. <clears throat> Crazy stuff's over, thankfully. No more snow. Well, nothing like hiking in the desert, the pitch black. I knew I had to head south and I'd hit my dirt road. I went a little too far west, but uh, I'm exactly where I want to be. Whew. Uh, here's my marker, so I'm gonna drop down here and this is the last part of the road. I'll take me to my truck. Whew. Man. Licked. All right, folks. I made it. Good night. That was an intense ride. 10 hours it took me. Pretty much nonstop. Five minute breaks here and there. Oh, man, I, I'm just licked. Uh, I think I did between four and 4,500 feet of elevation gain. Maybe more, maybe less. If I'm wrong, I really don't care. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, it was it's more than likely 12 miles round trip from where I parked the starting. And uh, there's no water available, so you have to bring lots. Oh, it was... Uh, it was a handful. It was a long day. I'm glad I'm back at the truck. I wrote to get my boots off and I want to get the hell out of here and go to bed. <laughs> so I'll put more info in the description. Virgin Peak, Gold Butte National Monument. Actually, Virgin Peak's in the Virgin Mountains. It's its own little thing, but I'll put it in Gold Butte as well since it's right here, essentially. Ah. Oh. Stay safe out there. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support for the channel is greatly appreciated. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.